Ahoy there, Mr. Squidward. Swab the poop deck. Is that his uh, Mr. Krabs impression? Load the textures, Mr. Squidward. <laughs> hilarious. Don't you have a platinum whistle? Why is Squidward here? I guess it's see his hopes and dreams, or I, I guess so. Whatever. There's one up there. Even in, like the pan, the frame rate was horrible. I know. Hello everyone, my name is Fabulous Fish. And I'm Katatsubi101. And uh, welcome to probably the worst room in the game. At least in the original version. I'll see what it's like here. Yeah. Oh my god! Get out! Get out! I'm sorry, I got stuck with a terrible camera angle. This game likes to do that to you. Wait, wait, wait. Okay, they do sync. Oh, okay. okay. They're just like delayed. Yeah. Okay, that makes a lot more sense. Because I jumped to the first one like, wait, wait, did that forget to like sync? <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Alright. What are they supposed to be? Uh, ghost platforms. Oh. Ghostly okay. ghost platforms. <laughs> don't don't think of it any anywhere else past that. I don't know. Like the wall jump works fine for that. I'm kind of <laughs> concerned to see what's gonna happen with like those wall jumps out there. Yeah. Because I feel like the way they have reworked the wall jump, it's only gonna work for like static platforms like that. Mm -hmm. So we'll see what happens as it gets more complex. <laughs> I'm I'm very concerned though with the way nothing else in this game has been good. Yeah. Our doom is impending. Yeah, Operation Impending Doom. <laughs> oh, okay. The camera just completely changed as I was able to move there. I hate yeah. when that happens. Yeah. <laughs> Don't forget the new swinging. Oh, that's right. That's thing. right. It's a whole down circle. Yeah. And it's like awkward as shit. <laughs> her, her lasso swinging looks really weird to me. Uh, it's that she doesn't have an animation there. See? She just kind of like plops higher. Yeah. It just kind of like happens. What is Sandy doing here, by the way? I feel like this feels, like, oddly weird. I understand there wasn't, like, a cutscene for, like, Patrick and the Kelp Forest. Uh-huh. But, like, I don't know, Mermaid Man and Barnacle Boy were there, and Patrick likes them, too, so, like, there's, you Maybe. know, kind of makes sense that he's there. Yeah, here's just, like, oh! <clears throat> Alright, that was that was actually my fault. I'll take credit uh, for that. For with Texas. <laughs> Ooh! Don't mess with Texas! Yeah, really, Sandy's pissed about that. I don't know, it always just felt weird to this kid, like, Sandy's just here in the cemetery. Sandy has a, an affinity with the Flying Dutchman. With the dead. <laughs> no, with the Flying Dutchman, because she flies. Oh, I do see. Do I need that? I do need that underwear, but that is not worth trying to get. Oh my god, yeah, no. Wait, wait, wait. How that, did that hurt you? That range was not big enough to hurt me. And I like how she had to finish her voice clip before the scream could play. I know. Unlike the original where, the, you know, she just cut off to scream, like, would actually make sense. Yeah. So, I do like the level design philosophy of this level. It's just the physics I don't like. Mm -hmm. So, like, first it was a wall jump of a wall. Now it's a wall jump of a wall, but if you're too slow or, like, go too late, that thing will push you off. Yeah. I do like that. You know, it's like building upon a concept. Mm -hmm. Now I like to throw a twist on it. Here, it's a horizontal wall jump. Yeah. I really like that. I'm kind of surprised they haven't done that in more Mario games. Yeah, that's so creative. I know. Oh, camera. Uh, let's see. Oh, oh, oh. That looks very confusing. It was confusing, but it really was just Mash X, which... Okay. I guess it's less frustrating than the original, but at the same time, it's like, then there's no challenge at all? Mm. Can I... Jeez. I don't like how they can hit you when that far above them. Yeah. Then here, it's not the horizontal wall jump, except this time, the mm. one on the right is really short. So mm -hmm. to be careful. Well, in the original, you have to be careful not to go too high, because you gain height every time. In this version, you don't gain any height on these, because they're scripted, uh -huh. so there's no challenge. But in the original, that was, a, like, building upon the concept. Because I, the original was actually, like, a finished game. I also like that there's no floor there, either. Yeah, so, like, your safety net's gone. Yeah, it reminds me of Sly Cooper. Yeah, it kind of does. It just, like, takes a concept and, like, improves it. Uh -huh. We're actually almost done this level. Oh, wow, this level's short. I know. I feel like we should just, like, do the next area in this, too. Because we're <laughs> almost at the end. Yeah. Like, did, didn't we just start? I feel like we did. Well, I do need to get over here if the smoke would get out of my camera angle. Don't let that clam kill you again. I feel like we're still gonna have to do some grinding for money. Really? Yeah. Because this game takes so many shiny objects from you. It's all Joe White Crabs' fault. I just, I've always felt the shiny object distribution in this game wasn't very good. That's a problem in the original too. Yeah. Alright, so here the original challenge was now you have to be careful because the platforms are really small and moving. Yeah. I am very worried how this is gonna play with this wall jump. God. <laughs> I don't think I trust this at all. God be with you. Um, no, it it's that. just Mash X. Oh. There's... Alright, on the one hand, yeah, that wasn't bullshit, but on the other hand, that was literally a cutscene where I hit X. Yeah. There was no challenge. Like, what was the point of it still being there then, you know? Yeah. I don't know. I feel like that could have been a lot better thought out than, yeah. than what it was. This part is really cool. Yes, so now this is the final twist. You have to go on these platforms that are, like, rotating. Except here, it's a cutscene. 
Uh, oh. When scripted sequences fail you, what? <sighs> um, excuse me? All right, what? <clears throat> All right, so there is like a timing element, which I appreciate, mm -hmm. but I don't know how I overshot it that time. Yeah. That's... Oh! Oh, oh well, you made it. I didn't think the game would let you do that. <laughs> oh, mm! No! Whoa, 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 whoa. Did you see where I go shooting off there? Yeah. All right. Well, now the camera's not working with me at all. Oh, jeez. This is not... There we go. Not the angle to be using. Oh, wait, 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 wait. Why did the camera angle change there? <sighs> Excuse me. Did you see me land up there and then the camera angle changed while I was walking? So yeah. I walked off the edge? Yeah. <sighs> oh, my God. That's so rehydrant. Camera? Oh, my God. Oh, why is it not? Hold on, move the move the stick for a minute. Am I exaggerating? Like the, the camera stick. Thanks, Katie. Oops, sorry. The camera stick, Katie. You're the one that was struggling. Yeah, no, I, I I hit the wrong thing by accident. It's okay. It's okay. I just get to do this fun part again. You got the hang of it though. All right. Whoa, 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 whoa! What the hell? Uh, wait, wait. Oh, I see what the problem is. When you're within here, the camera locks so that you can see these, mm -hmm. and also restricts your momentum if you're like trying to. You saw me trying to jump across it, mm -hmm. like manually jump from there to here. Uh -huh. You can't do that because it tries to lock him into his uh, wall jump animation. Oh. So that's why the camera's stuck here, and that's also why I fell that time. Oh. Because I was trying to, you know, play this like a normal game, and it decided to go to a restricted camera. Like this I'm sorry. A normal game. If you can't wall jump off any wall. Uh. What happened now? Did I fall through the ceiling? Oh my god, what is Did going on? Did I fall on? through the ceiling? I was trying to say, if you can't wall jump off any wall in a game just by jumping off it, then you shouldn't have a wall jump in your game, period. Oh because god. that's not like a natural part of your moveset, it's more like a gimmick. Mm -hmm. That said, um, what? <laughs> is there a hole there? Uh, yeah, oh, I guess there is. There, There is a very slight hole there. I'm sorry, I didn't realize Spongebob could fall through that little crack. That's so stupid. He couldn't get through the tent in the kelp forest, but like that, he could fall through. Yeah. God, this is one of the worst things I've ever done in a game. I'm gonna cry. This area is so bad. <laughs> I'm sorry. <sighs> I guess we'll just do this as one video, because I feel like this next level is really short, too. Yeah. And Unless Mr. the bullshit comes. Yeah. Uh, okay, yeah, textures, that's right. Oh yeah, they exist. <laughs> if you ground pound this, that's like your boat to get back to the previous area. I guess you kind of like took the creepy flying boat <laughs> over here to like where the... Wow, you can't see the lake beneath them? You can't see like the goo lake beneath them? That's really lame. Shine. That's really, really lame. Yeah. Too bad we can see this freak. Oh Ahoy god. There, Swab the poop deck. I'm gonna grab your poop deck, boy. Sometimes <laughs> <laughs> like nervously <laughs> laughing. <laughs> yes, well... It's a good one, though, eh? Uh, no, not really. Of course it is, SpongeBob. Here's what you need to do. <laughs> it seems like serious, Joe White. I know, right? Here's what you need to do, boy. Don't do that, SpongeBob. I hate puns, me boy. -o. Would you like to go into me museum, boy? -o? You need to oh, in the original version, you had two different voice lines you'd cycle Wait, between. Wait, no, I thought the one sounded different. You need to nope, because the other one's like completely different uh, wording altogether. It's the same clip there. Oh, okay. I love how they got rid of every cute little touch like that that yeah. made the game have so much more personality. It's saying, you know, it's a good remake. They got rid of things that actually add to the experience and replaced it with really pretty graphics that very superficially improved the experience mm -hmm. while making everything else way worse. I don't know. I think this might be dethroning... Um, I think it's like be throwing like the Sly Collection is just like the worst remake I've played. This is a remake that yeah. botches everything. Yeah. And I think like, I don't know, like the Sly Collection cut like a significant amount of content, which is really stupid from the original Sly Cooper. Mm -hmm. And also like botched the music in like really stupid ways because there's like a rhythm boss fight in that game and like they, yeah. they remixed the song. It's no longer synced up to the boss fight, which defeats the purpose of having a rhythm boss. Yeah, like thanks a lot. <laughs> and there's stuff like the Wind Waker remake mm -hmm. where they completely botched the art style and it looks absolutely nothing like, like the original one, like a cartoon. Yeah. But then there's this, where, like, this looks like a fan's, like, alpha demo to, like, show you their, like, work-in-progress idea uh -huh. for a Battle for Bikini Bottom remake. It's clearly not finished yet. <laughs> okay, apparently I was on my last health. Oh. Uh. Yeah, as opposed to, like, actually being, like, a professional production 
made mm-hmm. by like a real team. Nickelodeon's logo is in this, and I feel like that just shows you how little Nickelodeon cares. Yeah. That they were willing to like push this to release like this. Nickelodeon's just like gone to shit recently though, haven't they? Uh I mean, haven't they kind of always been? Yeah, I guess, I guess so. They've kind of always been really corporate. Mm. It's like, I don't know. This is very clearly to me like a remake where the people in control, not the team working on the remake, the people in control cared a lot more about making money than they did about the artistic integrity of like designing a game. Mm-hmm. Because this is just like, this isn't game design. This isn't a finished product. Yeah. This is just bad. I feel bad because I feel like they did want this to be, like the p- team making this wanted it to be good, but like they were so rushed. Do you see how there's no shadow here? Yeah. On these, I just had to like hope I can tell when I land on them. <laughs> Every once in a while, I see it kind of glitch in there. It's like, oh wait, there's supposed to be a shadow in this game. That's right. <laughs> Platform is supposed to be fun, not difficult. Or like, you know, both at the same time. Uh-huh. All right, let me take out the uh, robot machine here. Oh yeah, good idea. So it doesn't like spawn more hammers on, oh, oh, wow, okay. Ooh. I'm surprised that hit it because the range is so bad oh, in this that, game. that made me age. <laughs> How many years did you age? Oh, I aged like 10 years. All right, gotta just smash. There's like no satisfying explosion when, the... okay, that time there was. Sometimes Although... there is, sometimes there isn't. What do I care? Although like the sound effects are showing yeah, the generators is awful. <laughs> just like non-existent. <laughs> Whatever. We haven't seen these since the Mermelayer. It's kind of interesting there's like here again. Yeah. I'm oh, Sandy. That's what you have to do, yeah. I do know you could totally cheat the section in the original because like the swinging had physics and you could like use that to your advantage that phone with the mm. game, but since this is rehydrated, there's probably no way to actually have fun with it. <laughs> no. No. Of course not. No. Alright. I really don't like the swinging. The swinging really sucks. I don't like it not even one bit. <laughs> I was trying to put that to the background music, but I can't, oh, like, hear no. it very clearly because it's on really low when we record. I see Joe White crap. Standing He's down there. Oh, okay, those fall really fast. He and then wants that your... doesn't... Oof. Wait, wait, wait. Did the first one fall crazy fast and now these just aren't falling? Yeah, it was just that first one. When you stand on them, they just, like, clip to a different position. <laughs> I'm <know>. so lost. <laughs> I am so lost right now. <laughs> Alright. Alright, rehydrate. I see I see how it's gonna be. I see how it is. I was gonna say it's gonna punch you if you're trying to do these out of order. Bam. Got rid of Chuck. Is that a SpongeBob skeleton? It looks like a like a square head. It is, and I like how there's wrenches there instead of like the crossbones. Uh, you know what I don't like? Yeah. In the original version, that sail was animated to flap back and forth in the wind. And it was really cool that the Dutchman's sail, like up there, which is also static apparently, mm-hmm. was flapping like a sail, and this one was flapping stiff and robotically. That was so funny. Oh. Apparently in this one, they just don't move at all. Okay. That's that's nice. <laughs> yeah, because that's what we wanted from a remake, just something that has way less polish than the original. <sighs> Whatever. Bam. Bam. I'm just like... I'm just not having any fun with this anymore. Yeah. Originally, I was feeling, like, around the time of Rock Bottom and Mermelayer, that this is, like, replacing Mario Sunshine as the best unfinished game I've ever played. Mm-hmm. But, like, no, Mario Sunshine's way better. This just makes me so sad. I, this makes me so sad because, like, this should be so much better than this is. Mm-hmm. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Sandy. Sandy's sad, too. Yeah, really? Uh, camera. Thank you. So I know from experience, you don't want to ground pound the switch that it comes in this chest because that'll trigger the uh, next the next cutscene. Oh. You don't want to do that yet until you get the golden spatulas in here. Mm-hmm. So... Well, bam. I'm sorry this is a longer video, but, like, I feel like there's no easy way to divide this up. No, these areas are really short. I know, because, like, we're done with this this two, and now there's a mid- little boss fight. It was like, how would I divide that up evenly, you yeah. know? Maybe I could have done the first two rooms together, and then this and the boss together, but I feel like that still would have been skewed then. The first one would have been way longer. Mm-hmm. I feel like there really was no easy way to divide this. Yeah, like, this flag's really pretty, but it doesn't move. It, yeah. Why would they get rid of that? You're the physics? I don't know. Just like how they got rid of the, uh, or how they botched the invisible boat mobile. Because they didn't understand anything in re- Oh, okay, so I can't just, like, cancel the jump to get this purple icon like, on the original. Oh my well, god. I don't care if to switch back to Sandy, so if I got everything in this level, yeah, I pray pretty much everything. Mm-hmm. Here we go. Oh, I'm shocked they animated this. I know, right? I was half expecting just to go to the next cutscene. It has to load in the cutscene. Come on. They couldn't have just done that during the loading screen. Oh, oh my god! Did you see that? <laughs> so here's actually a little quirk. In the original version of the game, the Dutchman was opaque in the cutscenes, and it was like, looked horrible. 
Mm. I guess here they thought he was supposed to be opaque. Oh. This cutscene and the cutscene that plays after you beat the boss feel so poorly paced compared to every other cutscene in this game. Mm -hmm. <laughs> He's just rambling up butter. I know. Butter boy. I hate weasels. <laughs> you think I'm a woozel? <laughs> You calling me a half a lump? <laughs> Sandy's the half lump. She's gonna crush him. Yeah. All right. Now we have. Uh, God, this is so much louder than the cutscene was. Yeah. Why was that cutscene so quiet? Thanks for telling me exactly what to do, game. I never would be able to figure this out on my own. Oh my god. So in the original, this was like my least favorite boss because it was so tedious. Mm -hmm. I always um, forget about this boss fight. Does the camera not auto turn to him? Okay, that's great. Oh my god. Why would you want a convenient feature? As he shoots like his pop tart. Uh, <laughs> Frosty pattern on the ground. Doesn't like pop um, Okay, there we go. I was like waiting for those to pop off. Keep hurting the the ghost. He has a name. Do I need these? I like how they're like stretching to like come up with something different to say every time. Yeah. You could just not have those prompts. Also, like, do you see how bad this frame rate is too? Mm-hmm. Uh, he teleported to the same oh. place? It's faster now. There's actually an interesting quirk too. In the original version on PS2, if you went up to him while he was shooting the lasers out, a unique sound effect would play. Really? And in the Xbox version, that sound effect would play no matter where you are when you shot the lasers. Huh. I don't know why that's the case. I don't remember which one it was on GameCube. Oh, that's weird. I love how he's shooting flame from his nose. I know! I love his wiggle fingers. <laughs> he needs his ghostly ghost sock. Yeah. He hurt his tail without his ghostly ghost sock. <laughs> I don't know, this boss just like just kinda dodged his attacks and hit him. It's so boring. Yeah. I do think they sped this up. Why didn't he teleport? Goodness gracious. <laughs> He's not messing around now. But this just like isn't a challenge at all. No. Oh, okay, he moved that time. <laughs> this is showing like Heavy Iron's inability to come up with a good boss fight. Yeah, I, I seem to remember that in uh, Night of 100 Frights, too. Yeah. Yeah, Heavy Iron just didn't understand how bosses worked. Mm -hmm. They were very good at level design, though. They're very good at level design. They're very good at properly using a license mm -hmm. and, like, incorporating references in a way that, like, feels natural and organic on, like, you know, like, Nicktoons Unite or a bunch of other shitty license games. Totally. But, like, Heavy Iron did not understand the concept of boss fights and, like, what makes them fun. Yeah. Bam. Oh! Ooh, badass, Sandy! That frame rate, though. <laughs> Doesn't this pacing just feel crazy fast? Yeah. That's transparent. Yeah. What happened to the Dutch man? Poor Dutch man. He's SpongeBob. <laughs> I kind of like how it's got like a ghostly glow on it. That was yeah. cool. That was a cute touch. Alright, and there we go. I always forget the cut, like, it gets so much louder when it comes back from the cutscene. I know. You probably want to see that in the final video, because I'm going to, like, edit it to be consistent. Mm -hmm. And now we go back to the first day and get that one sock we missed. Oh, nice. So I apologize if this video is, like, much longer than the first one, but, like, I did not know a good way to divide these up. Because this yeah. second area was so short. Yeah. Even as it is, I feel like this isn't going to be that much more than, like, 20 minutes. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, that's good. Oh, 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 hello. Oh, no, he's back. <laughs> that fucking idiot. So if you want to know how to get that, uh... That sock before. It's you, Sandy, who you can't get in the first area normally. Right. A little oil doesn't scare me. I'm from Texas. <laughs> Texans aren't afraid of oil. Am I crazy or is Sandy's voice like kind of adorable in this game? <laughs> Isn't it the same as the original? Do I really have to carry Patrick's socks? Like, I don't know. Do you hear like that tone she is kinda of cute? Yeah, no, I see what you're saying. And this was someone who hates furries. <laughs> that was I kind like, of adorable. Yeah. I like Sandy. Oh, I do too. I think she's a fun character. She's definitely the most fun to play as in this game. Oh, yeah. All right. Well, I think that's everything for the Flying Dutchman's Graveyard. Nice. So join us all next time as we tackle the final level of the game. See you all there. Bye-bye.